A man is arrested after a violent bank robbery. His own saliva led to his capture. Federal agents say a DNA match led them to a man who allegedly shot a bank teller during the robbery. That crime happened in April at a branch of the State Employees Credit Union not far from Charlotte Douglas Airport. Reporter Mark Boone is live at 6 from our mobile newsroom in West Charlotte. Mark? Yeah, Sonia, we're talking about a bold daytime robbery. Customers actually hit the deck here after the teller was shot. Now we're learning the suspect's own saliva led to his arrest. Just blocks away from the bank, police find the suspected getaway car, along with cash covered in ink from the bank's exploding die pack. And you could see like the money and like they were throwing it out the window to get rid of it. In this grainy bank surveillance photo, you can see the suspect wearing a white cloth over his face. A similar cloth was found in that getaway car. And now months after the robbery, investigators say a saliva sample taken from that cloth and the car links 22 year old Demetrius Starks to the crime. He wasn't there. This is not a crime that my son committed. Stacy Starks tells me it is a setup. I definitely think there's a lot of stuff mixed up. His girlfriend cannot believe it either, but the feds say the suspect's saliva was also found on the street surrounding that blue Honda. And since Demetrius Starks is a convicted felon, his DNA was already in a state database. This is just absurd to me. It's absurd to me. I the suspect's girlfriend, you just heard from her, LaCronda Rosebro, she adds a whole new bizarre twist to this story. It turns out she is friends with a bank teller who was shot here. They went to middle school together, known each other since then. And we know that the teller survived the shooting. She was in serious conditions. So okay now. If Demetrius Starks is convicted of this crime, he could face up to 25 years in prison. We're live with our mobile newsroom in Southwest Charlotte. Mark Boone, News Channel 36. The w